back to my channel. This video is going to be my February favourites. So I'm going to be um, showing you a few items I have been loving this month. So we'll get started. I've been very organised and written everything down. So we'll start off with the L'Oreal Skin Perfection range and I have been loving the day cream and the serum. I've been using the serum underneath my day cream and just using the serum on its own at night. It recommends from the ages 20 to 30. It's meant to even out skin tone and it's meant to stop the appearance of, you know, like first wrinkles and things like that. Smells gorgeous, Pack packaging's gorgeous and I've been using it every day. As you can see, I'm so very nearly out of the serum but I, I'm absolutely loving it. And I'm dropping everything on the floor as well. Um, I've also been loving the Makeup Revolution Fixing Spray. Um, but they've actually brought out a new one. It's the Aqua Priming Base. That's what that looks like. And um, it's exactly the same bottle. It's got lovely rose gold featuring on the top. And you just apply this before you put your foundation on. I, I found it really nice actually. It's got a quite a nice um, smell to it as well. And I've been really enjoying that. And that's six pound and I got that from Superdrug. So it kind of like fits in with my um, little collection there. I, I have no idea these existed before. It's from the brand W7 and they actually have like dupes or like copies of Benefit blushes. So I'll just show you the three I've got there. I've got the Honolulu, which is like, I think it's like, it's meant to be like Benefit's Hula. Um, it, it just comes up like Benefit what they used to do but Benefit's now have got like a flippy lid. Um, it comes with a little brush which I don't use and that's what it looks like in there. So it's literally, it's just like Benefit's really and I've actually got that on today. I think it's really really nice. I think it was something like 2 99 compared to Benefit. I'm not sure how much those are actually. I can't remember how much I paid. The texture is a little bit darker than Benefit's but as you can see I've actually hit pan on um, my hula so I needed to get a different one just to get me through and that was 2 99 I can't remember how much these are. I also got the Africa one and that again it comes with a brush which I don't use. I just usually tip it out like that. And it's such a gorgeous, like, such a gorgeous, like, leopardy colour. And um, I do actually have a Too Faced bronzer, which I think is really gorgeous, but you don't like to use it too much. And I kind of got it because it's very, very similar to that. And as you can see, it's a little bit darker, but it's the same kind of idea. And that's why I got that. And this one was also 2 99 I think this one's, like, 22 25 that one was and then I've also got the honey queen I don't actually have anything that compares to this this is actually a blush which comes with a brush again and it's like got honeycomb shapes inside it's literally so cute it isn't very pigmented it just gives you a little bit of shimmer but I've been actually using this underneath my blushes which I think is really really cute I've also been loving from the balm it's the Mary Luminizer everyone raves about this on YouTube. I think it's like £17 from Superdrug. I've actually got um, it on today. I think it's absolutely stunning. It's reasonably priced and that's what the um, highlighter looks like. Sorry, I've just had to readjust my lighting because every time I come up to the camera it's, it, it goes really dark. So I don't know if that's any better for you but that's what the Mary Luminizer looks like. And I just think the packaging's really, really sweet as well. That's what the Mary Luminizer. I hope, I hope the lines are okay. At least I can come close now. I actually hit pan on my Kat Von D shading light contour kit on the banana powder. I actually find myself a replacement. It's it's not as good, but it's quite good. Um, I think it was something like six to eight pounds, and I got it off Boots as website. And it's um, NYX's HD finishing powder in the colour banana. And as you can see, that's what the packaging looks like there. It does get very dusty by the way. I've actually hit pan on that as well. And I've actually got that underneath my eyes today. I just find it just brightens up my eyes and it, it, look, it does look really good. So that's what that looks like. I've also been loving the Kick Ass um, Soap and Glory Kick Ass Blur and Light and Concealer to use underneath my eyes. It's like a, in, in like a 
crayon for. I've actually gotten to the end of it now, as you can see, which makes me so, so sad. Um, I've got it in the colour light and I literally, I've been using that underneath my eyes, underneath my chin, um, above my jawline and on the top of my forehead. And it just brightens it up a little bit. Um, I can't remember how much that was. I want to say around seven, eight pound that I got that from Boots. I've also been really loving, I got it for Christmas, it's the Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette. I've just got the Gwen Stefani blush palette, so I think it's really, really cute. It's just exactly the similar packaging to the original one. It would help if I held it the right way around. The only difference is this one has a white background and this one has a black background. I've been literally grabbing this palette and going to it every day. I know I've used it in a few tutorials, but I absolutely love it. And one of my favourite colours actually is 1987 right at the bottom. So 1987 is a really beautiful gold. It's a true gold colour and I've been using that just to brighten up my eyes. And I just think this palette is just so stunning. I think it was like £40 from Debenhams, but... It's absolutely gorgeous. I just love everything about it. So I had to get the blush palette, which to be honest with you, they do, I'd probably say they will suit more like fairer skin tones like myself, because I do find with some of them, you don't get a lot of, you don't get a lot of color. So you do really have to apply it on, but I've actually got on today. Um, I'll just show you the colors actually. I've actually got these on today. And the colours I've actually got on first is, is lo-fi and then over the top I've just got cherry and easy mixed together but you actually get like a highlighter colour in here which is that one there called Angel. I just think it's really stunning. I think these two were meant to be more like bronzer shades but I find them too light for a bronzer so sometimes if I want like an apricot blush I tend to use that but it's exactly the same format and layout as the eyeshadow palette. But the magic's in the makeup in the little mirror there in the corner, which I think is just so cute. And that was £35 from Debenhams. I've been absolutely loving these Maybelline's Stay 24 Hour Colour um, in the colours Feisty Fuchsia, which is what I've actually got on today, and Red Alert, which I have used in tutorials before. And the reason why I'm loving these is because... It, it just don't get messy like literally I can nothing comes off on your hand I just find it so easy with like eating because usually when I'm eating and I, and I put in my lipstick on I tend to get loads underneath my chin there I don't get that at all um, it literally lasts all day you only have to apply the colour once I'm finding that you tend to only have to apply the colour once and then after you've applied the colour it the lip balm does get a little bit messy you just apply the lip balm, you just apply the lip balm on top, it gives it a little bit of shine. And you just have to keep reapplying that just through the day just to keep your lips moisturised because when you do apply this at first, sorry, I sit up straight. So when you do apply this at first, it feels sticky, it feels yucky. I have talked a little bit about it in one of my couple of videos back when I used the red one, but you just have to let it dry and then apply the lip balm after and it just it's it's really really nice and then another item i've been loving is actually boots his own dry shampoo in the scent paradise island and the reason i love this for it, it smells just like my old collab one i think it's something like tropical like tropical scent with the green lid and it was i think it was something like a pound and it's brilliant you literally when you're spraying it in your hair it's invisible and it tends to give you a little bit of a boost as well well if you've got fine hair like me you absolutely hate flat hair like I find I, it's annoying me today actually because I am finding it a bit flat so I tend to sometimes even if I've cleaned my hair just spray this in the roots and it gives it um, a lot of volume unfortunately I've run out of this but I can't recommend it enough so it's boots as own dry shampoo I think it were on offer for a pound or something I thought oh, I'll just try it out and see what it's like and it's absolutely brilliant I've just I've really really enjoyed it I've been enjoying a, a mascara this month I've had it for absolutely ages I got it in like the a Christmas box it's the um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara 
It's a Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It's This is actually a miniature version of like the full size is like that or something. But I got it in a little, I got like a Le Maison de Chateau or something like eyeshadow set. And I've completely forgot I have this and I just, I just happened to look for it one day and I thought, oh, I've not tried this. Well, I've, I've tried it once and I've, I've just been using it every day since. I think it's, I think it's stunning. It goes on so well. I haven't been actually having to wear my false lashes with this sometimes. I mean, I know, like, I don't know if you can see it. Can't re I've got, I, I cannot speak today. I've actually got it on today, and I just think it, it just looks really nice. And um, I don't always like to wear false lashes, so this comes in handy for me. I've never really done one of these before, so I don't know if I'm meant to speak a little bit more in depth. So I just thought I would do a video on things I've been loving this month um, so. so please subscribe if you enjoyed this video also check out my Facebook page and Instagram I'll leave everything in the description box below and I will see you in my next video so thank you, bye! Oh. Dropping everything on the floor Dropping everything on the floor You can see all my spots You can see all my spots I feel like I've really laddered my tights. Oh my god, look at that. I thought <laughs> Bloody hell, what an idiot. Oh my god.